Hi guys, I just want to talk to you real quick about a book that I just finished two days ago called Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This book was recommended by Miss X Rojas in a video of hers a while ago, a month ago, and more recently by my friend Mimi, who's actually the one who let me borrow her book to read it, so thanks again Mimi for letting me borrow that. Basically, this book is amazing. Go read it. That could be my whole review, and that would be fine by me. Actually, not really. There are a lot of things I want to talk about in regards to this book. I'm gonna give a super short plot summary just with stuff from the beginning. No spoilers, I promise. Karu is our protagonist in this novel. She lives in Prague and is an art student there. She's absolutely lovely and a pleasure to read about. However, that's only half of Karu's life. She also lives this life as a messenger for Brimstone, who is a chimera, which I definitely just looked up the pronunciation of, and I've been pronouncing it wrong in my head the entire book. But he's a chimera and she has this magical life where she travels all over the world to deliver things and pick up things for brimstone. And Kara lives in this sort of empty, lonely state in her life where she doesn't know where she came from or who she is. And I'm not saying that in the sort of metaphorical sense, although of course you can read it that way, but she literally doesn't know who her parents are. She doesn't know how she ended up with this job with Brimstone. She grew up with Brimstone as, as a kid and she doesn't know how that happened and um, it's, she's just super confused about her life. So that's the entire sort of premise of the novel. This is the sort of fantasy novel that I used to read tons of in junior high and the beginning of high school and I feel like I've fallen out of that a little bit and I'm so glad that I read this book. This is exactly the reason why I love reading fantasy stories to begin with. This book is a beautiful fairy tale and that's the only way I can think to describe it. It reminds me a lot of books by Cornelia Funk that are still some of my favorite books, especially Inkheart. Taylor's writing style is just absolutely beautiful, and I know I keep saying that, but it's totally true. After I read the first paragraph, I was like, well, this book is amazing. It was that fast for me to decide. Problems with this book? Number one, Zuzanna, who is Karu's best friend in the human world, sort of fades away and is less prominent as the story progresses, which kind of makes sense, but I'm complaining because Zuzanna is awesome and I want to know what she's up to. Number two, I don't have the book with me anymore because I returned it, but the cover sucks. I hate it. I don't like it at all. It kind of put me off. I couldn't get so excited about it because the cover kind of was just like, eh. I was super excited to read the book, but just the cover put me off. I don't like it at all. It's just not cool, not classy. The font of the title is totally overdone. Number three thing I don't like about it is the title. I don't like Daughter of Smoke and Bone. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't do anything for me. But oh well, whatever, doesn't matter because this book is still near perfect. The most amazing thing about this book to me is how long it goes on without explaining so many of its plot elements, but still it keeps you captured the entire time. I'm not exaggerating when I say I was more than halfway through the book. My brother asks me, what is that book you're reading about? And I'm like, I can't think of any way to tell you because I don't even know what's going on, but my attention is totally captured and I'm totally into the book. There are no reservations about how I want to keep reading, but so many things. I don't know. Karu doesn't know so much stuff about her life and you don't find out anything before Karu does, so you're pretty much confused the entire time as well. And the fact that you don't get frustrated and you keep your full attention the entire way through that, it's quite a feat that Taylor has pulled off in writing this. If you want a really beautiful and new fairy tale, read this. I've said it way too many times, but I'm gonna say it again. It's a beautiful story. Real quick before I go, I'm just going to say that I'm going to be at LeakyCon, and if you're going to be at LeakyCon, we should hang out or something. I don't know. I'm not going to make a video about it because I know how much it sucks to watch videos of people having fun at LeakyCon if you didn't go to LeakyCon. So I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to tell you in case you're going to be there, and that's all. Bye!